you've certainly prepared yourself well for priestly life. And I know of your deep love for Jesus and his blessed mother, but especially our Lord in the Eucharist. I know you are a man of prayer, committed to daily mass, quiet time with the Lord in his Eucharistic presence each day, faithful to your bravery, as I said, have a lively devotion to our Blessed Mother and the Saints. So I ask you to remember, Ronald, that fathers always sacrifice for their families. We priests, as spiritual fathers, are called to a kind of sacrifice that occurs on the long road of fidelity. The day by day, year by year, gift of ourselves to our pastoral and sanctifying ministry. This is our road to sainthood. It's our road to holiness. As we cultivate a lifestyle and friendships that help us to avoid temptations and further build us up in virtue over time. St. Joseph certainly gives us a good example of this. We read so little about him in scriptures, but we do know that he is called the just man and he's a virtuous man. He showed himself to be ever faithful in his fatherhood to Jesus and his beloved spouse, our blessed mother day in and day out. We priests have to make efforts for our parish family. We have to sacrifice for them, just as good fathers do for their families. We are called to be fathers who need to be with our family as much as possible. We need to model for our people how to live, and even how to die. We need to model for our homilies that we preach. The priest, as spiritual father, needs to learn how to give his people encouragement in the face of their daily grind, constantly encouraging them to fidelity too when they are discouraged, and being a supportive presence to them in times of trouble, suffering, and despair. May our Mother Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe, wrap her mantle around you and protect and nourish you in a special way as you become an image of her own dear son this very day. God bless and keep you, huh?